Hi, my name is John Whitehead. I'm an executive and leadership coach and welcome to this week's video blog post. Yesterday I had a meeting with one of my clients where we were talking about um, challenges that he's had in the past with his direct reports. He's a fairly new leader in the role and prior to him becoming the leader, he was the same peer level with people now that are reporting to him. And you can imagine there are often a number of challenges that go along with that. And one of the things that we, I've been working with this client on is their communications and their communication style, understanding their direct reports, different styles, how they tend to communicate, how they prefer to be communicated to. If you've been following my blog post over the last number of years, you know that this is a mainstay of some of the work that I do. And in the workshops that I do on interpersonal communication skills, there's a point where I introduce the platinum rule. We're all familiar with the golden rule, right? The golden rule says that you treat others how you want to be treated. However, the platinum rule is a little bit different. The platinum rule says you treat people how they want to be treated. You know, I often wonder if most of the problems that we run into is that we're running around thinking, well, if this is the way I like it, of course everyone, you would like it that way or everyone would like it that way. Or this is, this is how I'm seeing it. Can't, can't you see this in the same way? The reality is no. We see things through our own lenses and other people see things through their lenses. So their perceptions are going to be a little bit different than ours, aren't they? So treat the platinum rule says, try and put yourself in the other person's shoes. How are they seeing things? How are they perceiving things? How do they prefer to be communicated with? And put yourself in their shoes. And this client that I was working with yesterday had said that he had really noticed a big difference when he decided to sort of stop step back a little bit and consider where that other person was in terms of how they prefer to be communicated with. And once he stepped, made that shift, he noticed that pe they were communicating much more better. There, there was less miscommunication. There was a higher degree of understanding. And with that was developing some trust and respect for one another in the workplace. Um, not that there was, you know, a real struggle there, but the fact that this guy was a peer and now was a boss had led to some un uncomfortableness, let's say, but the ability for him to just recognize and understand, you know, we are all different. Not everyone's going to see the same way, same things the way I do, was a pretty significant aha for him. Um, he recognized too that if, the different people on his team, because they have different, slightly different ways in which how they prefer to be communicated with, he recognized that if he customed the communications for those individuals, he was getting much better results. So it wasn't a blanket communication. He was customizing his communication for those individuals when he met with them. Um, something to think about uh, as in your own world. Think of that if you're a leader, think of your team. You know, do you have some people that want detailed information? Or do you have some people that don't want the details? They just want to know basics and just go do it. How you communicate with them. If, if you've got, if you try and give detailed information to everybody, you're going to lose some of those folks, right? So anyway, think about that a little bit. And as, as always, if you've got any comments or suggestions or thoughts, feel free to add them to the comments section below this video. And thank you for watching and we'll talk to you again next week.